What's going on guys? Welcome back to another second stimulus check update. Today we're going to talk about that $2,000 stimulus check, what's going on there, and the battles that we're seeing in the Senate. First, yesterday, Senate Republican Lindsey Graham said this. He said on Twitter, Going from 600 to 2,000 doesn't make you a socialist. Mr. President, keep fighting for the American people who are suffering. Insist on a standalone vote. That is what he said, and this is big, and I will explain more about this in just a minute. Today also marks the final day of the 116th Congress. This means tomorrow at noon, the 117th Congress will be sworn in, and it will begin. Now, according to multiple reports, the new Congress could hold a vote possibly tomorrow, but they will most likely hold a vote very soon on the $2,000 stimulus checks. And as far as which bill, just, just want to point this out. Mitch McConnell, even though he has a $2,000 stimulus check proposal and it's included into a bill, the Senate never voted on it. The House has voted and passed on that $2,000 stimulus check proposal, which includes $2,000 stimulus checks for filers, $2,000 for their spouse, $2,000 for child dependents, and $2,000 for adult dependents as well. This is big. This is a bigger bill. There's more money in this bill than the $2,000 stimulus checks that Mitch McConnell is proposing because that only includes $600 for child dependents and $0 for adult dependents as well. Now, there are also currently rumors swirling around that Nancy Pelosi in the House could break out a new bill this week. Again, this, this is based off of what happens on January 5th. That's three days away. On Tuesday, January 5th, we will know who wins in Georgia. We will know which senators win. If two Democrats win in Georgia, two Democrats win those two seats, then Democrats will now hold the majority in the Senate. And this could be big. Now, do I anticipate a bill is going to come out or a vote's going to happen and we're going to see $2,000 stimulus checks before Tuesday? No, I don't. Do I think we could see a the $2,000 stimulus check standalone bill that the House passed? Do I think we could see that voted on tomorrow or potentially on Monday? Yes, I do. However, it's not going to do anything in the Senate. And that's the key, is what happens in the Senate. We know how the House is going to vote. They already voted. We saw what passed. We know it's going to pass again. But what will happen in the Senate? That's the key. Now, do I expect to see a bill sooner if Democrats win in Georgia? Yes, I do. I anticipate we will see a bill quickly. We will see a bill this week. If Democrats win both seats in Georgia, we will see a vote this week. Now, it's Saturday. Today's Saturday. Things usually get get moving on the weekends. We don't hear a lot about it, but they usually get moving. We usually see, okay, there's, there's some progress, there's movements, there's talks, there's some negotiations going on, some backroom deals. But that's what we start picking up on over the weekend. And as we move in and progress throughout the week, we start to actually see those things come to light. That's what I'm expecting to see this week. Now, what happens in Georgia on January 5th is going to be huge. This could be the difference between $2,000 stimulus checks coming in the next week or so, or nothing new at all. The $900 billion that we received in stimulus could be the last of the stimulus, depending on how people vote in Georgia. If Republicans win, I'm not saying if Republicans you know, win at least one seat or even two seats in Georgia, that we don't see an additional stimulus package at some point, but seeing it happen sometime in the next few weeks is pretty much out of the question. Could it happen in the next few months? Yes. But sometime in January, I just don't see it happening. Yesterday, we saw just how far apart the Senate actually is and in their views. And this was interesting to watch. All Democrats supported the opportunity to vote and just vote on a $2,000 stimulus check. Even five Republicans came out and supported the $2,000 stimulus check and supported their right to vote on it on the Senate floor. However, multiple Republicans objected 
just to this measure, not to the $2,000 stimulus checks. They objected to voting on $2,000 stimulus checks. So they were just objecting to object on the stimulus checks. How ridiculous is that? This is how far apart the Senate actually is. Now the House is a little more you know, laid back. It's a little bit easier going. But the Senate lately seems like all they want to do is argue and fight. It's not even much of a debate anymore. They pretty much just, somebody comes out, says they would like to do this, and the other party comes out and says, we object. But that's the rules in the Senate. And something needs to be fixed, because right now, this is one broken system. Now, yesterday, I reported how Mitch McConnell, even though he has, and he put together a $2,000 stimulus check proposal, he would not even put his own bill on the floor of the Senate. For hours yesterday, hours, uh, and even this morning, I scoured the internet looking for reasons and possibilities why Mitch McConnell would even do this. And I came up with nothing. I've read multiple reports, I've watched multiple videos trying to figure out, does anybody have any insights? I watch CNN, I watch Fox, I watch a lot of independent uh, YouTube channels similar to mine, and nobody had answers. Nobody had answers. And it's because what Mitch McConnell has done by not putting his own bill on the floor for a vote, what he's done is, like I said yesterday, is unthinkable. Why? Why would he not do this? There has to be a reason why. Well, according to a few reports, multiple congressional staffers believe that Mitch McConnell never wanted to put this bill together. He does not want to see $2,000 stimulus checks. He does not really agree with the repeal of Section 230. And as far as putting together an oversight committee to investigate into possible election fraud for the 2020 election, that's not really something that he wants to do either. He's only doing this to appease President Trump. Now, in order to get President Trump to sign the $900 billion stimulus package that also included a $1.4 trillion government funding bill, what's currently being reported is that Mitch McConnell offered it to put together some type of a bill that President Trump would support, and that is what he did. He put together a 16-page bill that included $2,000 stimulus checks, which just so you know, about 80, 85% of Americans support $2,000 stimulus checks, and about 70% of Congress supports stimulus checks as well. What we also know is that he included a Section 230 repeal and an oversight committee to investigate possible election fraud. That's what he put together. And Mitch McConnell had to offer President Trump something in order to get him to sign this bill. That's supposedly what he offered him. Well, he did exactly what he told him he was going to do. And now, President Trump is mad. If you didn't see the video that I did yesterday, I'll link to it. It'll be the, one of the first links down in the description box below. Go and watch it. President Trump put out a tweet yesterday just reiterating how upset and frustrated he is with the Senate, and specifically with Senate Republicans. Well, it's not getting any easier. Mitch McConnell put together a bill like he said he would do, and President Trump is not happy because all the stuff Mitch McConnell promised him, or supposedly promised him, is not going to happen. But this is what has many people understandably upset. Why won't Mitch McConnell put his own bill on the floor? All senators want to do is have a vote. All they want to do is vote on a bill. It can be any $2,000 stimulus check proposal, any bill, they would just like to have their voices heard. Is he worried that this bill that he put together would actually pass? Some believe so. Bernie Sanders stepped up to mul multiple times over the past few days and requested a vote on either $2,000 stimulus check proposal. He was open to either one. And he said he doesn't know if either one would pass. He said he personally would vote for the bill that the House passed. He also reiterated that he believes that the, the bill that Mitch McConnell put together has too many issues that Democrats would never support it. And I believe he's right. He also stated multiple, multiple times that the American people need additional help. Yesterday, he, he read off a, a list of, peop, of things that people have said as far as you know, one man couldn't afford any uh, anything for Christmas for his son. His, his birthday for his son was on January 2nd, which is today. 
and he knew he wasn't going to be able to afford any presents for him as well either. One person said she couldn't afford any medications for herself or her family. Well, another person said that she had to, she waited in line at a food bank for food, and when she got there, they actually turned her away because they had no more food. They had more people requesting assistance for food than they actually had food. That's a big issue. Even Senator Josh Hawley, who is a Republican, he spoke out against his own party and said, and I quote, I can't for the life of me understand why we cannot get a vote. We can't even seem to have a debate on it. With all due respect, this doesn't seem to be a Republicans versus Democrats issue. This seems to be a Senate versus the United States of America. And I, I fully support what he said. Right now, it doesn't seem like Republicans and Democrats are divided along party lines. It seems like they're divided based on pretty much their own agendas. Well, right now, it seems like the Senate is fighting the people of the United States. The people that voted them into office, those are the ones they are actually fighting against. That's not good. Even Senate Republican Lindsey Graham had this to say yesterday afternoon. Going from $600 to $2,000 doesn't make you a socialist, Mr. President. Keep fighting for the American people who are suffering. Insist on a standalone vote. I read this to you earlier today, earlier in this video, simply because it's so important. Lindsey Graham is reportedly the one who got President Trump to sign the $900 billion stimulus package, and that's what he did a little bit over a week ago. He is the one who has been in President Trump's ear for some time. So if he's insisting on President Trump telling pretty much Mitch McConnell in the Senate, let's get a standalone vote, then he is the only one that could really push this. Right now, nobody has more power than Mitch McConnell. Not even President Trump. But President Trump is the only one that could actually push Mitch McConnell to possibly include a standalone bill, a standalone vote for $2,000 stimulus checks. It will not be the one that the House passed. It would have to be a new bill. But according to a couple reports, this could be what's in the works this weekend. We could see a new bill, possibly as early as the middle of this coming week, and it would be something coming from the Senate and Mitch McConnell. This could be on $2,000 stimulus checks, but again, we don't know until we actually see it. It's just a report. What I can tell you is if Lindsey Graham is insisting that President Trump fight the, for the American people and insists on a standalone vote, it could happen. It could happen. And so when you combine this with the, the reports of a possible new $2,000 stimulus check, a standalone bill coming from Mitch McConnell and the Senate, it could happen. So, what should we expect to see over the next few days and even into this coming week? Well, we need to wait and see what happens on January 5th. That's three days away. This will tell us everything we need to know moving forward. If Democrats win and take back control of the Senate, here's what's going to happen. We should expect to see a vote very quickly on the $2,000 stimulus checks and the standalone bill that the House passed earlier this week. This includes $2,000 stimulus checks for filers, $2,000 for their spouse, $2,000 for a child dependence, and $2,000 for adult dependence. This bill will most likely pass. Now, this does not mean you will get an additional $2,000 on top of your $600 stimulus check. No, you will get $1,400 on top of your $600 stimulus check, which would equal $2,000 total. However, $2,000 total would be a huge win for the American people that are currently suffering. However, if we see Republicans win, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm all for Democrats winning or I'm all for Republicans winning. I'm all for the American people. That's what I'm all for. Whoever can provide the best solution to the American people, that's who I support. Right now, neither party seems like they're really out there for the American people. Seems like both parties have their own agendas and that's what they're fighting for. But I'm fighting for you. I want to see you get the most you can possibly get, and get back on your feet. That's what it's all about. Just getting back on your feet, getting back to the life that you once had. Nobody wants to see themselves in a, in a deep, deep hole trying to dig themselves out without any support. Now, if we see Republicans win at least one seat, then expect Democrats to try and negotiate some type of deal. Probably not this week. They, they might try. They might push for something. But I'd expect 
they're going to pretty much be fighting an uphill battle. They're not going to get too far until most likely the middle to end of January. We could see some a little bit more movement there. This will most likely need um, to be a some type of compromise between the, the different issues that President Trump has put out there, but also some of the issues that, that Mitch McConnell and the Senate Republicans have. For example, liability protections. Could we see that in the next bill? Some believe it's possible. But I just want you to understand that if Republicans win, we could see nothing happen until Joe Biden takes office. That's what we could see. We could simply be at a standstill until January 20th. That's in 18 days. So it's coming up, but it's still a long ways away for people that are currently suffering and need additional money than just the $600 that they're issued. So this is going to be a huge week for stimulus and what we learn in just the next few days is going to impact every single one of us, whether you live in Georgia or not. What happens in Georgia in just three days is going to impact millions and millions of Americans. So that is what we know right now regarding stimulus and the $2,000 stimulus checks. As I know more, I promise I'll share more. Consider subscribing so I can continue to keep you updated on everything that's going on and I'll see you guys on the next one.